Alright guys, I think I actually said in the last video that it was going to be the last tutorial in this mini series, but I didn't want to make a video that's too long because my attention span isn't that long. I don't like watching videos that long. So anyways, in this video, I promise, oh, I got the freaking hiccups now, that we're going to be finishing up. So what we did so far, just to recap, this can take like five seconds, is we took all of the information from our XML file and we now have it stored in arrays. Now we did that because we can use these arrays whenever we're working with our JavaScript file. So now we have one thing left to do and that's print the crap out on the screen in a fashion where it's more you know easily viewable to the user because whenever you go to your boss who knows nothing about programming and be like oh here's the information in a nice XML file they're like what the heck is this crap no you want it in the user friendly um, kind of program viewing experience bonanza so let's go ahead and store everything in variable first and all the stuff we're gonna print out on the screen we'll just name it stuff very simple so right now it's empty because we didn't populate anything yet and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a for loop to loop through each array simultaneously and it's gonna be pretty freaking sweet so for what we want to do is just go ahead and make a counting variable i is equal to zero because anytime you're working with arrays it's always important to set your loop to zero because remember computers start counting at zero only people start counting at one now i is less than and this, here's the thing the next parameter is how long do you want your loop to be well since both of these arrays are the same length it doesn't really matter which array you get the length of so you can either do names dot length or you can do social security numbers dot length it doesn't matter because each of those are two elements long and that's another awesome thing whenever you're working with XML files you usually have simultaneous or consistent information so that's another you know awesome thing and of course actually let me tighten this up of course we on, only want to loop through one at a time so there we go so basically this gun this loop is gonna or I is gonna be set to zero then one and then it's gonna stop so let me go ahead and show you guys how to fill this stuff variable with all the information that we need so I actually have this program up and running on my server right now and let me just show you guys what's going on so here is the final um, appearance of our program we already coded this here's the list of people in our HTML file now JavaScript is gonna create these or this um, I don't even know this data right here Bucky Roberts dash social security number Mike Litteris dash social security number and this is actually an old one so the social security numbers are different but that's the format that we're going to be printing it out in so now how do we get that well go ahead and set your stuff variable equal to the first thing we want is the name of the first person so how do we get that well names because that's the array and in order to get the first item in the array just write item I because remember right now I is equal to zero this is the very first loop so this is basically gonna get the very first name but it's not that easy you just don't print it out like this you need to print it out by calling some more properties of it the first property that you need to append on here is first child now the first child is basically the text so whenever let me break this down the names array is basically made up of several items but the item itself is this entire thing this entire tag with you know these names right here and the text Bucky Roberts well we are only worried about text or the data inside in other words we're not worried about these tags we only want to print out this name so that's what the first child is the first child is the name and data is basically the text and if you guys are like that's freaking stupid Bucky why would they make it like that I don't know don't yell at me I didn't invent Ajax I just teach it so this right here 
is what you need to write in order to print out the text Bucky Roberts. It's stupid, I know, I agree with you, but that's how you do it, and that is what first child means, the text and the data. The first child is the things inside the tags, and the data is the text. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So now, let's just go ahead and print out this little minus sign to separate the name from the social security number. And after this, of course, we need to print out the data of the social security number array which is going to be Bucky's social security number so instead of the names array because this would print out Bucky Roberts again just change this to SS ends so what this is going to do is it's going to say Bucky Roberts and then whatever my social security number was so it's going to get the first element in the social security number array and print out pretty much the text of that now what I want to do after this, and I know I'm going off screen kind of, is I just want to add a line break. And that's what's going to cause Mike Litteris and every other one to be on another line. If we didn't have this line break, then it would just look like one big string of text and we don't want that. So break, and there we go. So you don't need to do this for every single you know user or every single employee you just make one loop and it loops through all of the crap so again even though we only if if you were just looking at this in first glance you would think that it loops through the names array because it has names length but since both of these arrays are the same length you can actually use the same loop in conjunction with the names and social security numbers and it's gonna work you know you're not gonna go out of bounds in your loop at all so now what we did is we stored all of this information inside the variable stuff. So you think, okay, we can just run our program right now and it's gonna look like this, right? Wrong. And that is because even though we stored it inside the variable stuff, we didn't say display that on the screen yet. So in order to display all the content or the value of stuff on the screen, what we need to do is we actually need to say where we want to display it and well that's basically it so where do we want to display this well of course we want to display it right at this div the D so the first thing we need to do is, is reference the D so the D variable is equal to document which is basically your HTML document get elements by ID and what is the ID of this it's the D just copy that So now the D in JavaScript refers to the D div element in our HTML file. So now what we can do is just populate the inner HTML of this. So the D inner HTML. So basically change the HTML of the D to stuff. So now our program is finally complete. So what I'm going to do is actually save this and I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to um, upload everything to my server and I'll show you guys the final program. Alright guys, it was actually a good thing I paused the video because we did have an error, or actually I did have an error I should say, and it took me a while to fix it, at least like five minutes. Um, when I made my XML file I made it like this, but in, I was getting error and it said like uh, the document object is null and I thought that I had an error somewhere in my JavaScript file so I kept looking for one couldn't find one and it turns out that uh, I just had a space between the question mark and the XML uh, the letters XML so you cannot have it like this you need it like that I am an idiot but like I said uh, it was a couple weeks before simple error but now we have the final program right here looking pretty freaking sweet so here it is, and well, not much to talk about. That's it. So thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions about the source code or anything, I'm going to be putting all the source code on my forum, tnbforum.com, and um, you can talk to anyone there. If I'm on there, I can answer your question. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to get subscribed. See you later.